Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Joe Pometo, Joe, the lawyer here. Today, we're going to watch a video of the trial of Diane Allen. Diane Allen was the father of Chase Allen, who was the sovereign citizen who was tragically shot by police uh, uh, last Wednesday um, in Utah during a traffic stop where he tried to uh, apparently pull a weapon on the officers. Now, a lot of this has been floating around. It turns out Mr. Allen was deep uh, in sovereign citizen ideology, and as was his mother. Um, his mother had a traffic stop in 2022. She was ticketed. She went to court. At court, um, my understanding is Mr. Allen had an outburst. She had a trial. She was convicted. We are going to listen and react to the trial itself. Excuse me if the sound is not that great. It's not that great on the YouTube video. I'll try to make it a little better on my video. Um, but before we dig in, before we listen to this and watch this, um, everybody raise your cup, your glass in the air. Cheers with me. It tastes better when we sip together. I got some half-finished ginger ale. I've been making videos YouTube and all day. I'm trying to get back in the groove, everybody. So uh, cheer me on. Have a sip with me. It tastes better when we sip together. Same time sip. Cheers. All right, we're going to watch this. Um, this is the trial of Diane Allen and her son Chase is there. Um, this, uh, ladies and gentlemen, is apparently a, a sovereign citizen family. Please rise. Davis County Justice Court is now in session. Thank you, Deputy. I appreciate that. Sounds sounds like an older judge. Apparently he forgot that part. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Cole. Good afternoon, Hi, Miss Allen. Do you want to come up to the council table there? That would be fine. She didn't want to come up to the council Mr. table? Cole, before the trial started or starts, Miss Allen filed or had someone file on her behalf a request for a continuance. Did you get a copy of that? I did not. He's not going to continue this. Maybe she didn't want to enter the well of the courtroom. Mr. Cole's objecting to a continuance in this case. Do you want to tell me why you think you need a continuance in this case? If you're going to address the court, you need to come up where the microphone's We can't hear her at all. I, I have time right here. I sign it loud enough. Have you received my entry of appearance specially? I did. Special the bailiff's brought me a copy entry of, of appearance. I, Diane Killian now do hereby enter my appearance specially in the above matter for disposition to equity of the party. She practiced this. Specially submitted this day, respecting 28 U.S. Code 1746, Section 1. For equity? Thanks. Ms. Allen, we're going to conduct a bench trial. Here's how we're going to proceed. We're going to have opening statements. You don't have to give one if you choose not to. Opening statements are not evidence. She never addressed the continuance. The statement that a party gives me to tell me where the, where the case is going. Ms. Allen, if he's going to distract you in this matter, it's not going to be helpful for you because you won't know what we're doing. Probably talking about her son, Chase. After parties give me their opening statements, I'll let Mr. Cole move forward. He's the prosecutor in the city, bears the burden of proving these crimes beyond a reasonable doubt. He'll introduce overruled. He'll over he'll introduce testimony through witnesses and perhaps physical exhibits. I gotta say this, a traffic trial like this, the judge wants to get it over with. That's why he doesn't want postponements. He wants this thing to move. Let's get it done. You'll have a chance to cross-examine any witnesses he uses and view any exhibits that he uses before they become part of the record. When he's finished, he will rest. When he rests, it'll be your turn to put on a defense if you choose. At that time, you can put on your opening statement and call any witnesses and produce any evidence you'd like. After you're done, Mr. Cole may have rebuttal information he wants to give me. If he does, I'll accept that as far as it's material and relevant. And once I have all the evidence in this case, 
I'll decide whether I need to take it under advisement. I believe she's charged with failure to identify herself to law enforcement. <coughs> they decided not to take her in at the traffic stop because she was a sovereign citizen. Surprised she sh she showed up to all of this. Um, but I'm assuming it's a misdemeanor or a ser fairly serious crime in Utah. Oh, crap. Um, because uh, oh, this is the worst. Um, I can never fix this the computer when it does that. So I literally have to do that. Oh, look at that. Easy fix. Um, because generally there's not prosecutors, at least in Pennsylvania, for summary traffic offenses. There's only prosecutors for misdemeanors or jailable offenses. Statement and call any witnesses and produce any evidence you'd like. After you're done, Mr. Cole may have rebuttal information he wants to give me. If he does, I'll accept that as far as it's material and relevant. And once I have all the evidence in this case, I'll decide whether I need to take it under advisement. I'm sorry. After I have all the evidence, we'll have closing arguments. Closing arguments are much like opening statements in that they're not evidence and they're not testimony. They're just a wrap up telling you where the case has taken me. Object, Your Honor, to any proceeding in this matter? Overruled. I do hereby enter my appearance specially in the other matter for disposition to the equity of party. Overruled. Respectfully submitted. Just so you know, the special appearance, they believe that it allows them to appear without giving the court the power of jurisdiction over them. So they can come in and argue, but it doesn't surrender jurisdiction. To this day, I respect you, 28 U.S. Code 1746, Section 1. I heard you the first time, and you're, you're overruled. <laughs> Once I have all of the arguments in this case, oh, it's just gonna I'm object going to all decide day. if I make a ruling today or I take it under advisement. If I make a ruling today, I'll notify the parties. If I take it under advisement, I'll let you know. Mr. Cole, do you want to make an opening statement in this case? No, Your Honor. Ms. Allen, do you want to make an opening statement in this case? I, Diane Tilly Allen, do you feel like my appearance specially in the above matter for disposition for equity of your parties? Respectfully submit to the state, respecting 28 U.S. Code 1746, Section 1. I understand. Thank you, Mr. Cole. You she already said all of those things 15 times and oftentimes in in bench trials like this for, for opening statements are foregone they're not done you can call your first witness thank you judge thank you we have one housekeeping matter go ahead i would ask the court to ask the defendant if she intends to assert the defense under 53.3.217. So a person who is charged with not carrying a license with them, which is what she's charged with in count one, has an absolute defense to that if she can produce in court, drive a license that was valid on the day of the ticket. But I give her an opportunity to assert that defense. Not Ms. coming. Allen, not Mr. coming. Mr. Cole's making reference to Utah Code 53.3.217, subpart two. Subpart B2, it's a defense to a charge of not having a valid license if you can produce in court a driver's license that had been issued to you that was valid at the time that you were arrested or cited. So Mr. Cole's offering you the chance to exercise an absolute defense to the one charge concerning your driver's license. Do you want to take advantage of that and have that case, that charge dismissed? I object, Your Honor. What Mr. Cole is saying is, is hearsay. Overruled. And I do hear, hereby enter my appearance specially in the above matter for disposition. Here we go again. Overruled. Mr. Cole, objection. apparently overruled. I'm not going to listen to you make an objection three times. Mr. Cole, apparently she doesn't want to take advantage of the defense in this case. Your Honor, I am not participating in the trial. I have challenged subject matter jurisdiction. It has not been proven. And I do hereby enter my appearance specially in the above matter for disposition to the equity of parties. I've heard you four times now. I've got a copy of what you submitted. I've heard you four times. I'm happy to note your objection for the record. There's her son. Treason. It's 
got a warrant. Common law courts are not a thing. There has been no warrant. There's been no crime committed here. This is absolutely inappropriate. What's your name? What's your bathroom number? Okay, and what are your names? Every one of you, what are your names? Miss Allen, on behalf of them, give you all of their names as soon as they're finished. It's absolutely fine. Let me say this, you know, some sovereign citizens like, uh, um, you know, that we've seen in these videos, don't take it as seriously as others. These people are extremely serious. So, so sad. Violation of the law. What resistance? You must let him go. Miss Allen. You have been strangled. You have been You have been strangled. 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 You have been he said nothing to you. He did not disrupt anything. The they were checking on that warrant the whole time. Right here. Let him go. Let him go. You do not tell me what to do. You need to let him go right now. Is there anything I can do to seek your compliance? I am not compliant. Let him go. 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 Problem too, man. Miss Allen, you're not supposed to have your cell phone on in the corner. These people just just dig deeper in. They just dig deeper in after stuff like this. Yes, it is. Hang up. Just start. I'm not hanging up. You need to call them up. You need to direct them in here right now. My rights are being violated. She's gonna call 911. I'm being assaulted. I'm being assaulted. Please, you need to send help right now. Committing a crime. Diane Allen. They really believe it. I need help. I, I'm the Davis County Justice Court and I'm being assaulted. My son has been assaulted. It's a brain. It's a. It's a. It's a bug in the brain. No, they have taken him in the bathroom where I cannot see him any longer. They have been placing their hands on me, forcing me to do things I don't want to do, and they placed cuffs on my son for some. That's how the police work. That's how it works. I need help right now. He's done nothing wrong. They, I need help sent right now. Yeah, that's me in the background. It's not an emergency. It is an emergency. Do not disconnect that call. It is an emergency. I've been assaulted and my son has been assaulted. With no cause. Miss Allen, please hang up your phone. I will not. You're committing... You all here have been participating in crimes against both of us without mm. us. You guys are disconnected. Do not hang up this call. I need help sent right now. These people are violating my rights. They're violating my son rights. I need to, I need help. Miss Allen, I'm going to ask you to please hang yes. up your cell phone. I'm listening to you. I'm going to give you a warning right now. Hang up. 
and follow the judge's directions, or I'm going to take you into custody. I will leave, but I am not going to participate in the— I'm going to hold off right here. No, I'm staying on the phone. It's myself who would have responded to that call. No, someone else needs to be responding besides you because you are the one violating my rights. Under Title 18, Section 9, 12, 9, 13. And you need to let me pass this here. This is wholly improper. Every one of you— I don't think you need to hang up the phone for two minutes. No, sir, you don't get to control me. You don't get to tell me what to do. You violated my rights. You violated his rights, and this is a huge problem. Ms. Allen— I need to be able to press charges and file a report. Ms. Allen, will you please hang up your phone so we can proceed with your trial? We can't proceed. There is no trial. We can proceed. No, we cannot. It's just very sad. Yes, please do. If they hang up, it will be a violation of their duties as well. You are sworn officers of the law. You've sworn an oath to the Constitution. You've sworn oaths of office. Every one of you are violating my rights. You're violating my son's rights, and I need— You are not going to— Ms. Allen— —do one again. That's causing a public safety issue for something that's not an emergency. It is an emergency. Ms. Allen— —because you are assaulting me right now. You are assaulting me, and it is a public safety issue because you are assaulting me. You're short-staffed in there, and you're— It has nothing to do with them. Let me go. Okay. Now I'm going to let go. Take your hands off me. You need to sit down and listen to the judge. I will be leaving, and you will not stop me. You want me to stop you? If she wants to leave, she can leave. Make sure she has her phone, Deputy King. Mr. Cole, she has been here. I advised her when she was here earlier about a trial in absentia. She's clearly not being held against her will at the present time, and she was able to be here in court. Would you like to proceed in her absence? Yes, Judge. She left voluntarily and indicated multiple times that this was not a trial she wanted to participate in. I'd ask to proceed and call my first witness. Then I'll let you go ahead and if you— All right. We're going to stop there. I'll put the video in the description below if you want to see the rest of the trial. I wanted to mainly cover the interactions with Mr. Allen and Diane Allen. And what the court was about to do is hold a trial in absentia. Now, it's not something that the courts really enjoy doing because there can be all sorts of problems with it on appeal. But it's better. You can't just find someone guilty. So at the very least, what's going to happen is the Commonwealth will put their witnesses on. I'm sorry, the state of Utah. I'm so used to the Commonwealth language here in Pennsylvania. So the state puts on their witnesses. The judge will listen and make a decision basically without the defendant having a clear opportunity to defend themselves but if it was their own decision to um, to not participate and uh, and voluntarily leave when they had the chance to defend the case um, it it certainly could be upheld at the appeals court so that's what's about to happen here and really this is this 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 happens, you know, with sovereign citizens, this is going to happen because they refuse trials. They refuse jurisdiction. She quoted subject matter jurisdiction. She quoted federal statutes. She said the same thing over and over again for her special appearance. And unfortunately, she brought her son in um, who had a warrant out for his arrest and it created a ruckus. I can understand after seeing your son arrested that you're going to have a hard time wanting to uh, go forward with a trial. But man, this is why you need a lawyer. This is why you got to get this sovereign citizen ideology out of your heads, out of the heads of Americans and people all across the world. It's dangerous. And you could see the level of dedication here that these people had. Um, she meant every word that she was saying and so did her son. And you just have to wonder what pushed them into this. What pushed them into this? I'd be curious to know more about the family background, about the family history, to want to go down a road that is just so blatantly defiant of the law and of the government. Man, I can understand not wanting, you know, the hand of the government on you 
Um, but you also have to understand that there are laws and there are rules in a society uh, and and whether we like them or not, they exist and they are for the better of everyone. Um, go back, read political philosophy, read Thomas Hobbes, read uh, John Locke, um, read the great political philosophers, Montesquieu, um, of our times and uh, of the 17th, 18th, 19th century. Um, you know, it's, it's just we just don't live in a world anymore where you can get, have your own plot of land and, and not have anybody uh, – touch it or bring you under their jurisdiction places like that don't even exist on this planet anymore so get rid of this sovereign citizen ideology it's dangerous uh it doesn't do anybody good and it led this family down an extremely tragic path thank you everybody for tuning into the common sense academy i'm your host joe palmetto joe the lawyer if you like my content please like subscribe comment and share hit that like button hit the subscribe button buy my book on sovereign citizens and watch my other channel joe the lawyer all the info you need is in the description below all right thank you everybody have a great day